When it comes to iconic football stadiums, it is impossible not to mention one distinct ground in Mexico City. A temple steeped in FIFA World Cup history. It was the setting for two finals that saw both Pele and Diego Maradona lifting the trophy. This is the Estadio Azteca. This stupendous arena first made its mark at the 1970 FIFA World Cup Mexico, a fierce cauldron that boasted crowds of over 100,000 spectators. One match in particular stands out from this tournament, Italy versus West Germany in the semi-finals dubbed the Game of the Century. In this heavyweight clash, a last-minute West Germany goal took the game to extra time, where five more goals followed in an end-to-end -end contest with Franz Beckenbauer playing on despite a dislocated shoulder. West Germany battled against the Azuri. Gerd Müller's brace was not enough as Gianni Rivera's strike sent the Italians through. And of course, the final, an historic match between Brazil and Italy. This legendary Brazil side featured none other than Pelé, who within 20 minutes was already on the score sheet. And Pelé! Well, it had to be Pelé, because that is Brazil's 100th goal in World Cup Finals. Italy fought back. But the sublime ability of these Selecao superstars was ultimately too much for the Azuri defence. In the final five minutes, the Azteca witnessed one of the greatest goals ever scored at a World Cup. A masterclass in creativity and passing, finished off by captain Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto is coming up on his right! Oh, magnificent! Magnificent! Talk about icing on the cake. And Brazil are the world champions. 16 years later, this modern-day Colosseum would see yet more drama at the 1986 FIFA World Cup Mexico. Unbelievable moments would take place in a highly charged quarter-final match between Argentina and England, a tie that will be forever remembered as the Diego Maradona show. In the space of five minutes, history would be written on the looming walls of the Azteca, starting with the infamous Hand of God quickly followed by one of the greatest individual goals ever scored at a World Cup. Maradona turns like a little eel and comes away from trouble. Little squat man comes inside Budger, leaves him for dead. Outside Fennec leaves him for dead and puts the ball away. And that is why Maradona is the greatest player in the world. It was a famous win for Argentina en route to the final. And they were back at the Azteca where they faced West Germany. This soulful stadium reverberated with the sounds of excitement as goals flew in at both ends. Room in again! Well, there's something! Now, Albi Celeste's two goal lead leveled out by a Rudy Voller goal in the 83rd minute. And Rudy Voller equalises! But Maradona was not done weaving his magic at this World Cup. With five minutes remaining, he played a majestic pass through to Burachaga who scored the goal that would win Argentina their second World Cup. Burachaga! Argentina lead again! Jorge Burachaga! In addition to these timeless moments, the Azteca has been a sturdy fortress for its home side, Mexico. They never lost here across both World Cups, and the roaring 100,000-strong crowd has inspired a remarkably strong record across other international fixtures. Having also hosted the Olympics, this otherworldly concrete structure is certainly one of the greatest sporting arenas in the world. And though it's known for its past, the Azteca is far from done, as it is set for a momentous return to the 2026 FIFA World Cup.